By watching this short video, you will learn the quick and easy steps to wire the UC1 Universal Control to a WHKE interlock kit when connected to a millivolt appliance. Be sure to follow all electrical codes for wiring when making these field connections. Begin by wiring the gas pressure switch in series with the A and B terminals on the UC1. These connections are not polarity sensitive. Be sure not to supply voltage to the A and B terminals. Next, make sure the red voltage selector is on the dry position. Wire the linear limit spill switch in series with the thermocouple junction adapter. For the newer water heaters that don't have a thermocouple, the spill switch should be wired in series with the ECO or high limit of the water heater. This is also true on any 750 millivolt water heater with a power pile. Finally, connect the 115 volt power supply voltage to the L and N terminals on the UC1. It is important to note that the installer must supply overload and disconnect protection. If not previously completed, you also need to attach and wire the UC1 whip to the circuit board and to the venter. Carefully slide the black, white, blue, yellow, and green wires, four of which have female spade connectors, into the UC1 cabinet. Attach the black to the MTR terminal and the white to the N terminal. The blue and yellow will connect to P1 and P2 and are not polarity sensitive. The green wire will attach to the box grounding screw. The opposite end of the UC1 whip will connect to the venter. Connect the black and white leads to the venter motor leads. The blue and yellow should attach to the fan prover switch and the green wire will connect to the venter ground. You have now completed the wiring. Refer to your manual or contact Churnland Direct for additional help. If you are watching this on your mobile phone or tablet, hit the back button to return to the previous screen.